right, so for the last few days, we've been talking about solving equations with one, um, with one variable in them. So today we're going to talk about simplifying like terms. All right, so like terms are terms with the exact same variables or variables raised to the same power. So for example, that could be like um, x and 3x are like terms. Um, x squared and 5x squared are the same. Um, also, um, you could have y and 2y, all right, but 2y and 3x are not the same because you have an x and a y, okay? But it's also the same with, um, like, just a number, 5 and, like, 3x are not the same, okay? All right, so just to continue with some other examples, we have um, 4x and negative 10x, okay? And 15xy and 17xy, okay? Um, you can also see negative 2x squared y and 7x squared y right, is this, are the same, and so on and so forth, okay? All right, so we're going to do a little activity on the smart board. So um, we are going to determine whether the terms um, are like or unlike terms, excuse my typo, drag the correct word over the term. So basically we're going to look in each of these boxes, there are two terms. We have to decide if they are like terms or if they are not like terms. So take a second, look at them, think of the ones that you have that are that are on here that are like terms, and think about the ones that you don't think are like terms. All right, so the first one, we have negative 4x and negative 10x. We have different coefficients. We have different numbers here. We have negative 4 and negative 10, but we have the same variable. So we have x and x. So in that case, they would be like terms. All right, if we look right down below, we have 9x squared y and 4x squared y. And these, the same ideas up here, we have the same variables, different coefficients, but they still are considered like terms, okay? All right, now we have 13xy and 5y. Now, they both have coefficients, numbers, they both have y's, but because 5y does not have an x, it, they are considered unlike terms, unlike terms, okay? All right, if you look down here, we have 3xy squared and 7x squared y. Same sort of concept as before. We have different, uh, we have the same variables. We have x and y in both, but in this equation right here, x is to um, a power of just 1, and in this one, x is a power of 2, so they are immediately looked at as unlike terms, okay? If we go over here, we have 5x squared and 9x. You said it was unlike terms, you are correct. And the last but not least, we have 17ab and negative 21ab. And since they both just have a, b to one power, it, it, they are like terms, okay? All right, now when you're combining like terms, there is a very important um, rule we need to follow and make sure, and this is very, very, very important. So it says the subtraction sign and the negative sign mean the same thing, okay? They mean the same thing. So for example, we have four minus nine, and that becomes four plus negative nine. 
of an addition problem, so the subtraction symbol tells you that the 9 is negative. All right, so when we were working with some of our problems, we would have negative 4 plus x equals 5. And you guys were getting confused because there's this negative sign here, okay? We're like, do we add or subtract it over to the sign? Well, because the subtraction sign and the negative sign mean the same thing, the 4 is technically being subtracted, so we would add, okay? All right, so this is the same idea that we did up here also, um, it's relevant when you are looking at combining those like terms, when you're combining those like terms, okay? So another example we have is 5a minus 4. That can become 5a plus negative 4 as an addition problem. So the subtraction symbol tells you the 4 is negative, okay? All right, so let's do some examples. All right, you can combine like terms by adding their numerical coefficients. Now remember, a coefficient is this number before the variable, okay? So our like terms that we have in this particular example um, all have x. So these are all like terms in number one. We have 5x plus 9x minus 12x. So we can combine these. We can just add them up. So 5x plus 9x is 14x. And then we have minus 12x. All right, and 14x minus 12x is 2x. So when we're combining our like terms in number one, they would be 2x. All right, now in number two, I want you to think about what are like terms in this particular problem and what is not a like term. We have 4x plus 9 plus 6x. All right. If you said 14x and 6x are the like terms and that 9 is out on its own, you are correct. You are correct. So in this case, what we can do is we can actually reorder it so it's a little easier to... Uh, add together. So I have 14x plus 6x plus 9. All right, I just reordered my example, okay? So now I know that my answer is going to have plus 9 because there is no like term that goes with 9, okay? But I am going to combine 14x plus 6x. Right, and 14x plus 6x is 20x. All right, so our answer would be 20x plus a 9. Now, I know it is strange to have an answer that doesn't really have an answer, okay? But this really is just all that they are looking for when they are saying combine your like terms, okay? All right, let's do a couple more examples. So we have 9a squared minus 6ab minus 11a squared plus 10ab, okay? I'm going to go through and I'm going to underline the um, like terms in this particular problem. Okay, so I have 9a squared and negative 11a squared and make sure that you include that negative sign, okay? I have negative 6ab and I have 10ab. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite this. So I'm going to, I have 9, a squared, okay? And I'm going to put the, its like term right next to it. And I'm going to say it's minus 11, a squared, okay? And then I'm going to take this next one. I'm going to say 6, a, b. Plus a b okay and when I combine those like terms I'm just going to combine these two and I'm going to combine these two so 9 a squared minus 11 a squared is negative 2 a squared 
a negative 6AB plus 10AB is a positive 4AB. All right, so my answer is going to be negative 2A squared plus 4AC. All right, so try number four on your own. Okay. And here are some additional um, here are some additional problems for you to work on. I would really, really, really encourage you to practice these in your notes. Okay, practice these in your notes. Get used to rearranging these terms. And remember, 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 remember to include the negative sign or the subtraction sign with the variable it is in front of, okay? If you were to take away all of this stuff and all of this stuff, 8xy would be negative, okay? Same with this. 9a squared would be negative, okay? I'm going to encourage you to do that, but I am going to give you... Um, oops. All right, apparently my... Answer button does not work, so we will just uh, make sure that you understand each of these problems.